now that we have tackled or we have learned about the proposition, let's have simple and compound propositions. So what are their differences? Or the definition of terms? So we can say that a proposition is simple if it is if it cannot be broken down into more than one proposition. Otherwise, it is a compound proposition. Okay, so let's have compound proposition. It is a proposition that is formed by joining simple propositions using logical connectors. Okay? So we will also be learning about the logical connectors. So we can easily say that a proposition is simple and compound if um, we see a logical connector. Okay. So given propositions P and, and or, or Q, some logical connectors may be expressed in terms of the following. So padding not P, P and Q. So again, these are uh, small let letters. So this is a proposition denoted by uh, small letters. So proposition P. Okay, so padding uh, dagdagan natin ng not sa unahan. Okay. Ibig sabihin, kabaligtaran na nung proposition P. Okay. So P and Q naman, we have two propositions, the P and proposition Q. Pinagsama natin using the logical connector and. Next naman, may logical connector again tayo na or pinagsama natin si proposition P and Q. Next, if P, then Q. So this is a hypothesis and conclusion. No? So we have proposition P as the hypothesis. Then Q, proposition Q will be our conclusion. So again, these are two sentences, no? two propositions na pinagsama. So let's have an activity. So for each of the propositions in the previous examples, determine whether it is a simple or compound proposition. If it is a, a compound proposition, identify the simple components. So we will tell whether the propositions are simple and compound. The propositions P, R, T, and U are simple propositions. Okay, kung tatandaan natin, we have proposition P kanina. So we have Mindanao is an island in the Philippines. So that is a simple proposition since we cannot um, break uh, this down into uh, smaller sentences or um, di na natin pwede yung yan to make uh, two sentences. Okay, so one sentence lang siya. We also have proposition R which is also a simple proposition. My seatmate will get a perfect score in the logic exam. We can also tell that this is a simple proposition since we um, we are not uh, seeing a logical connector. Also, proposition T is a simple proposition. So 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. And also, lastly, for the proposition U is also a simple proposition. F of x is equal to square root of x over x plus 1 is a rational function. So, we nakita ang and, or, if, and then statement. So, on the other hand, ito naman yung mga example ng compound propositions. So we have this piece of one 
it is not the case that square root of 2 is a rational number. So, bakit siya ay compound proposition? Okay, so, because it is negated. Okay, so, kanina, di ba meron tayong not p? No? Pag nilagyan natin ng not, ay kabaliktaran na ng proposition na p. So, we can say that yung uh, simplest form nito is isin natin yung not. Okay, pwedeng, it is the case that square root of 2 is a rational number. Okay? So, pag ginawa natin not p sub 1, no? so, kabaliktaran ng proposition p sub 1 yung uh, mangyayari. Okay? So, next, p sub 2 we have either logic is fun and interesting or it is boring. Okay, so this is also a compound proposition. P sub 3, if you study hard, then you will get good grades. Okay, so, meron tayo nakita. Ito natin, that is, it is a, an if and then statement. So, this is a compound proposition. Also, lastly, P sub 4. Okay, so, by conditional statement siya. Medyo mahaba, no? If and then statement din siya kung mapapansin natin. So, we can say that P sub 4 is a compound proposition. Now, let us identify the simple components of the compound propositions in the previous example and the corresponding symbols using the logical connectors used. Okay, so uh, ngayon naman, mapag-aralan na rin natin yung iba't ibang symbol for the logical connectors. Yung not, yung and yung or and yung if and then if then okay so let's try so yung proposition 1 natin p sub 1 square root of 2 is a rational number okay so not r yan okay so next, proposition P sub 2, pinaghiwahiwalay na natin, di ba? Nakalagay doon, either logic is fun and interesting or it is boring. Okay. That is, pagsamahin natin to F and I, logic is fun and interesting or it is boring. Okay, so napaghiwahiwalay natin into simpler components. So that is F and I or B. So we denote it, uh, so we denote the simple components as proposition F, proposition I, and proposition B. So pinaghiwahiwalay natin. Next, we have proposition P sub 3. Pag pinaghiwalay, we have proposition H and G. You study hard, you get good grades. Ang kabuuan na sentence kanina, di ba? If you study hard, then you will get good grades. That is, if H, then G. Okay? So, ibig sabihin ng small letters na to is itong buong sentence. Okay, so for the propositions, then G, you get good grades. Yung katumbas naman niya na sentence. So lastly, for our proposition P sub 4, we have two proposition A and S. We have broken down uh, it into simpler components, which is you are more than 60 years old and you are entitled to a senior citizen's card. 
Okay, yung kanina na mahabang sentence, di ba? Yung buong compound preposition na yon kakalagay. If you are more than six years old, then you are entitled to a senior citizen's card. And if if you are entitled to a senior citizen's card, then you are more than six years old. So, in a symbol, we will um, write it into using the letters if A, then S, and if S, then A. Now, we have solved another solved examples. So proposition A, is the traffic heavy along Tejero crossing today? The solution is, this is not a proposition since it is an example of a question or an interrogative sentence. Next, please close the door. So this is this sentence gives us instruction. So this is a this is also not a proposition because it is a an imperative statement. Letter C x plus two is equal to eleven. So while this is a proposition, in English it can be read as x plus two is equal to eleven which is declarative, its truth value cannot be ascertained since the value of x is unknown. So we cannot say that this is a either true or false. No? So para masabi natin na siya ay proposition, dapat may truth value siya, either true or false. Also, proposition C or uh, statement C is not a proposition. Next, we have statement D. 144 is a perfect square. Okay, so this is a true statement. 144 is a perfect square since 12 squared po yon. 12 squared or 12 raised to 2 is equal to 144. So we can see that this statement is true. okay, And it is a declarative sentence. So that's why we can say that it is a proposition. So reminder, for other solved examples, please refer to um, your learner's packet that is um, already uploaded in the Google Classroom. For our logical operators and its symbols.